Okay, so um, team eight, you can go ahead and get started. Hi, everyone. Welcome judges, teammates, mentors, families, and friends to the Team 8 MIT Future Makers 2022 Creative On presentation. We are happy to see everyone and really excited to share our project with you all. Under the theme of physical health and mental well-being management, our team worked on a project to create AI Parkin Scan, or APES for short, which is an artificial intelligence software for the easy and accurate diagnosis of Parkinson's disease. Before we move on to sharing our project with you in detail, we would like to introduce our team, Hannah. My name is Nishal Rally. Hello, my name is Ali Kamp. My name is Hassan Mushtaq. I'm Adash Gopal Areti. And our mentor is Nisar Parikh. Now, the motivation behind this project came from the fact that Parkinson's disease is a progressive illness, a disorder of the central nervous system, specifically the brain and spinal cord, that affects movement generally in people in ages over 60. And it also close to home when Ali shared that her grandmother has Parkinson's. So now I'll hand it over to Ali to talk about her family's journey. Thank you, Nishal. In July 2019, in July 2019, my aunt noticed that my grandmother started to have tremors in her hand, as well as a change in her mood. While most of my attribute this to mere side effects of old age, as my grandmother was 70 years old, my aunt that works in healthcare suspected there was something more. My grandmother saw several doctors before she was diagnosed with Parkinson's. Even so, this was considered an early diagnosis. However, people often don't notice the symptoms of Parkinson's in those around them. This makes me wonder, had my aunt not been a healthcare professional for 10 years, would anybody else have been able to notice that this was happening to my grandmother? Parkinson's disease, or PD, is a neurodegenerative disorder that primarily affects movement and causes uncontrollable shaking, stiffness, and difficulty with balance and coordination. It is caused by degeneration and loss of nerve cells in the brain's basal ganglia. There is currently no known cure, and while PD is not fatal, it can cause a multitude of complications. Here are some basic statistics on PD. About one in 500 people develop PD each year, and currently more than 10 million worldwide are living with it. Most that are diagnosed are over the age of 60, although one in 20 diagnosed are under 60. It is the second most common neurodegenerative disease after, Park after Alzheimer's. We conducted our primary survey and the results show that the diagnosis of Parkinson's is a frustration for most medical professionals since there is no proper method or tool to diagnose it. As shown in this pie chart, 90% of our survey respondents said a product for an easy and accurate diagnosis would be very useful. So there is a clear market for our product. Now I'm going to hand it over to Nishal. Along with our survey, after conducting research for our product, a few key points came to light. Firstly, early detection of Parkinson's is extremely important. Our software will target PD patients so that they're able to live independently. Availability of local medical and other resources is very important for our users. And lastly, our diagnostic tests are useful for initial testing as well as for disease progression. Despite the fact that millions suffer from Parkinson's, there are currently no standard diagnostic tests for this disease. Only clinical diagnosis is done based on findings of neurological exam. It may take years to get an accurate diagnosis. And in addition to this, symptoms of Parkinson's vary from person to person. And since a number of other illnesses have similar symptoms, misdiagnosis can occur. From our survey, we identified a need for creating a diagnostic test for Parkinson's disease. Our goal was to use new technologies to create a product or software that can help to test and diagnose anyone for Parkinson's, even those in the early stages, is efficient, accessible, and inexpensive, and can also be useful to track disease progression. So the solution that we came up with was creating a diagnostic tool that can predict if anyone has or is at risk of having Parkinson's disease. And we call this creative tool AI Parkinscan, an artificial intelligence software for easy and accurate diagnosis of Parkinson's. Later in this presentation, we'll talk more about the features and technology used in making this diagnostic tool. We research the wide internet for applications that help patients identify, help, and resource themselves about Parkinson's. We found several physical exercise and cognitive training apps, symptom tra tracking apps, and apps that provide resources. None of these apps help in 
identifying whether a person has Parkinson's, but they do help in maintaining a stable lifestyle, although they do not aid in early diagnosis. Our website uses a multimodal learning of learning to help diagnose various symptoms of Parkinson's disease. For example, it asks a user for, of a drawing of a spiral to detect micrographia, which is abnormally small or cramped handwriting. It is a secondary motor symptom experienced by people with Parkinson's disease. Another feature is that our website can take an audio clip to analyze the voice for any tremors or slurred speech. The model creates a new segment of an audio file and converts it into a spectrogram to determine if the user has Parkinson's. This is a video demonstration of our product. Hello, and welcome to Teammate's demo of AI ParkyStat. We've created this website for users to take the diagnostic test, as well as to find useful information about Parkinson's disease. So as you can see, we're currently on the homepage, which has a short description of our unique, accurate, and inexpensive product, AI ParkyStat, or APES for short which is an important tool in the diagnosis of the oftentimes misdiagnosed Parkinson's disease. The About Parkinson's page provides users with some basic information about what Parkinson's disease is, and it also lists some uh, statistics about this disease. The AIDS screen page describes our AIDS tool, which can be used by anyone who has Parkinson's or suspects that they may have this disease. Our creative product easily and quickly gives results of tests on this page that let users know if they likely have Parkinson's disease. So there's two tests for users to take. The first one asks a user to draw a spiral on a piece of paper, similar to the one shown here. Once the user draws the spiral, they can take a picture of it, save it to their computer, and upload it using the choose file button. Then they can hit submit and move on to test number two. So I choose a file, hit submit, and now I can move on to test number two. For this test, the user is required to speak a sentence out loud and again hit the submit on one step. Applications in geography matter. Limited 1991, page 100 to 224, 1979 SE units. This is because there is less scattering of blue light at the atmospheric path. And consequently, the degree of scattering of incoming radiation is reduced. Our unique AI software is robust and predicts with over 94% accuracy whether the person likely has Parkinson's disease. This information is displayed after a user takes and submits both tests. So in this case, as you can see, the two machine learning models correctly predicted that I am not at risk for Parkinson's. If the model process the test information and output a positive result, that is displayed with a message that says you are at risk for Parkinson's and directs you to the resources page. Now the resources page has a list of links that provide useful information for anyone who wants to know more about the Parkinson's disease and the symptoms, the treatment options, the disease progression, and a wealth of other information uh, from credible sources. Finally, we have the contact page where users can reach out to ask questions, write comments, or provide feedback. Thank you so much for listening to our demo video. In the future, we would like to generalize our product to include other neurodegenerative diseases, such as Alzheimer's and Huntington's, which also involve the degeneration of the nervous system, so our product could include more tests to diagnose and also differentiate between these diseases. We would also like to include a questionnaire that is used to monitor both the non-motor symptoms of PD as well as the person's mental health. We will also provide a list of local resources that patients can use to easily connect with specialists and medical professionals. We will also allow users to create uh, individual accounts using a secure login page so that their test uh, results can be stored and users can refer to them to track any disease progression. Lastly, we can expand on the different ways that Parkinson's is diagnosed. We can include more tests such as monitoring the posture and facial expressions.
This ends our presentation. Thank you so much for listening. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank Nassard Fari, our mentor, who helped and guided us through the entire program. Thank you very much. Also to Tanya, Mishra, Shore Start, and judges. Now we are ready for any questions you may have. Um, I have a question. How did you get your um, data for how accurate it is? Uh, also, just how did you, did you test it with someone with Parkinson's? <laughs> 